Now I'm going to discuss the NCRT back exercise problem of solution. The problem number is 27. And the problem is if the solubility product is 6 into 10 raised to power minus 16, calculate the maximum molarity of CUS in aqueous solution. Firstly, we are writing what is given to us. Solubility product KSP 6 into 10 raised to power minus 16 of CUS and our aim is to find out the maximum solubility. Firstly, we are writing the expression for the CUS is exists in equilibrium with copper 2 plus ion and sulfide ion and CUS exists as a solid. There is an equilibrium between the undissociated solid and the dissolved part. At the stage of equilibrium, we will assume that the maximum part of the CUS dissolved is S molar. S is the solubility of the this compound at equilibrium. So we are taking it as a S molar and S molar, where S represents the maximum solubility of CUS at equilibrium. Now the expression for the KSP, it is for the solubility product for CUS is copper ion concentration into the sulfide ion concentration. Now we will place the value over here at the stage of equilibrium. So the value is S square S into S both the concentration would be equal because CUS when ionized it will give one mole of copper ion and one mole of the sulfide ion means the concentration of both the copper ion and sulfide ion from the CUS would be equal. So we are assuming it to be S and S. Now KSP is equal to S square. So S will come out to be under root of KSP. If we place the value of KSP and we can find out the value of the S. The value of S will come out to be S, that is maximum solubility will come out to be 2.45 into 10 raised to power minus 8 molar at the stage of equilibrium. This is the maximum solubility of CUS in aqua solution at the stage of equilibrium.